There's another story I'm going to talk about. The sperm count in Western men has plunged to a new low. Oh, yeah, hey, that's weird. Why is the sperm count of American men and Western men so low? Is it what Aristotle told us about, airs, waters, and places? Is it because our air is toxic? Because our drinking water is toxic? Is it because our food is full of toxins? Is it because the wallboard in our houses are toxic? Being made in China, most of the wallboard. The sheets we have. I bought a sweater, for example, a few months ago in Park City, Utah. I paid a small fortune for it. It was gorgeous. Made in Italy. Couldn't resist it. Never buy anything fancy. I figured, what the heck, they can bury me in it. I bought this beautiful thing. It's still outgassing in my garage three months later. The formaldehyde won't go out of it. A stiffening agent. Lucky for me, I have a very sensitive sense of uh, uh, scent. My olfactory senses are very keen. I can't wear the thing. Tried Woolite last week. It still don't work. It won't come out of it. You think that that stuff is not toxic on your body? How many of you don't understand that when you smell a, a person smelling of laundry soap, this laundry soap that you are smelling... That scent is toxic. The molecules that you're smelling have now entered your brain, did you know that, and your cells. If you can smell it, it means it's entered your body. It means the molecules that you are smelling have entered your brain and your body. I know it sounds frightening, but it's as toxic as uh, gas coming out of the back of a bus. Some of the chemical toxins in our society are absolutely carcinogenic. It's a well-known fact. So I'm not surprised when I read that. The sperm counts are uh, very low in the West. Uh, so these are some of the stories. I'd like to switch to the sperm count in Western men. Plunges to re record. I don't know why I'm jumping to that from Gerald Nadler. Or maybe it's just a maybe it's a, a psychological jump. I don't know why, but I'm going from Gerald Nadler's diet and new look, like the guy in The Sopranos. Remember when he went on that diet? The the fat roly poly guy in The Sopranos. Raise your hand if you know who I'm talking about. No, you don't. Know. Okay, whatever. And then he comes out of the thing, and he's on a diet now, and he's wearing new clothing. Sperm count in Western men plunges to record low as scientists blame chemicals and everyday products for crisis. All right. It's fallen by more than 50% in 40 years and is showing no signs of slowing down. Study did not examine causes. But scientists believe the amount of chemicals used in everyday products industry and farming may be behind the crisis. Researchers from the Hebrew University Hadassah Brown School of Public Health and Community Medicine and the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai screened 7,500 studies that took place between 1973 and 2011, and they found that it's a big deal here. Decreasing sperm count has been of great concern since it was first reported 25 years ago. This shows that the decline is strong and continuing. They think that it's related to chemicals and commerce, and that's the relationship. The study was published in the Human Reproduction Update, and it said no significant decline in sperm count was seen in Africa, none was seen in Asia, and none was seen in South America. Wow. Talk about hybrid vigor. I'll be right back.